We've actually worked on this for the last three years um, and believe that we've finally cracked the cadmium code. Um, this is through not just testing that we've done in, within the lab here, but also testing with artists and the actual end users as well. So this is actually some of the testing that we've done in the lab to validate the matching of the cadmium free colors to the genuine cadmiums. On the left hand side, you can actually see the genuine cadmium colors that we've had historically within the Liquitex range. And on the right hand side, you can see the matches that we've developed. Part of the way that we've looked at this is, on, is not only in the mass tone color, which is this full strength color brushed out here, but we've also looked at the color match when reduced with other colors so that we can validate that when the colors are mixed with white or with other colors, not only are they going to give the same mass tone, but they're going to give the same color strength and performance in the reduced color. So, uh, 300 hours in this machine is equivalent to 100 years in gallery conditions. Um, and as you can see from this test strip, we apply the colours and half the colours are actually exposed to the strong UV light and half the colour is actually masked and not exposed. The reason we do the test in this way is so that we can see the effect of the strong UV light on the colours and uh, measure if there's any difference or movement with time. Uh, as you can see with this strip, there's absolutely no movement of the cadmium free colours, which means that we're completely confident in the longevity of this product. It's a fantastic result. After the light fastness testing is complete, there's just one final test to do, which is the ACMI submission. That is the Art and Creative Materials Institute, uh, who validate that our formulations are truly non-hazardous, hence we have the AP non-toxic logo on the tube. So not only have we conducted the testing in the lab, we've also conducted the testing with artists. And here you can see two paintings, uh, one that's been created with the genuine cadmium colours and one that's been painted with the cadmium free. The artist was actually given both sets and asked to try and tell the difference themselves and the feedback has always been that it's almost impossible to tell anything different in the performance of the two. We found 41 artists working in the US and we sent them all two sets of paint. The first set of paint was the range as it is currently with the cadmium colours in and the second range was the same range with the cadmium colours removed, replaced with cadmium free replacements. The artists did not know that's what they received. We sent two artists a placebo set that was completely had cadmium in and two artists had a set with no cadmium in. Nobody knew who had which set. But we did tell all the artists that the placebo sets had been sent. So what happened was, most of the artists, when they couldn't find a difference, made an assumption that they had a placebo set. They had the paints to work with for four weeks in their studio and they completed a detailed diary every day when they painted, exploring what they'd, how they'd used it, what they'd used it for and how it had performed. I'm really excited that this Liquitex paint is cadmium free and that the quality has not been sacrificed in any way. That you can still have this paint be high quality paint with great pigmentation, great feel to it as well.